Good morning children welcome to maths class so in maths we are solving the problems of 19th block which is area and perimeter isn't it children and yesterday we have started with our first topic which is solving perimeter problems where we have done finding the perimeter of rectangle and a square isn't it children so there are few more sums which we have to do so today we will complete that okay children so before starting again let's recollect the formulas children perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 into length plus breadth okay and perimeter of a square is equal to 4 into side okay next area of a square is equal to side into side yes and area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth. Okay. So, we have to learn this formula children to apply in the uh, problems. Okay. So, let's see the sums now. A man runs around a square park covers one kilometer in five rounds. So, what is the length of each side of the park? So, here he is telling that it is a square park. That means all sides will be equal. Yes. And he runs. Children, whenever we are running, we run on the border line of the park. Isn't it? Yes. So, that becomes the perimeter. Yes. If he runs a whole square, that becomes area. But here he is running around the square park here it is around the square park that means it is a perimeter yes and he completes five rounds that means five perimeters first time one perimeter is finished second round second uh, two perimeters are finished third round fourth round fifth round that means five times if he does the perimeter uh, rounds that is five perimeters is equal to one kilometer isn't it now from here you need to find the side okay so first let's write what is given in the question so number of sides are uh, rounds he ran is five isn't it and the amount he covers the kilometers he covers is one kilometer okay and we will convert into meters thousand meters because if you do with one we cannot get anything isn't it one kilometer means for one round, for one perimeter, it should be in meters only. Thousand meters will make meters, one kilometer, isn't it? So, in kilometers, we can't find the answer because one round will be in meters only. That's why we'll convert into meters. One kilometer equal to thousand meters. Now, what we need to find side of this square park, length of side of this square park, isn't it? So, how you can find, first find the perimeter. Perimeter, how do you find here? So, for 5 rounds, it is making 1000. Perimeter of a square will be 1 round, isn't it? So, we have to find how much distance he covered in 1 round, which is nothing but the perimeter of the square park. So, how you can find by dividing the number of kilometers by 5, okay? For 1 round, how much? 5 rounds, it is 1000. For 1 round, how much means you have to do the division 1000 divided by 5 that's what you will do okay number of meters for one round is equal to nothing but perimeter of a square park which you will get from number of kilometers divided by number of th rounds that is 1000 divided by 5 okay now 5 is the divisor and 1000 is the dividend so you will place them accordingly now now first you have one which is less than five so you will take two digits one zero one zero ten now check whether you have ten in five table yes you do have isn't it five twos are ten now ten minus ten will give us zero isn't it now children actually what we used to do we used to bring the next digit down and you will check whether it is there or not and you will write it down but if you have zeros Okay, if you have zeros, you can stop here the div division and place these two zeros in the quotient. Children, 
when you have zeros if you have 0 2 0 or 0 8 0 any digit is there then you can't put all these in the quotient okay if you have the zeros only the zeros then you can place those these zeros in the quotient okay so i am placing these two quotient two zeros here in the quotient then that becomes 200 okay <coughs> And the reminder will be zero. So number of meters you got for one round is 200 meters, which is nothing but the perimeter of the square part is, park is equal to 200 meters. Now, how do you find the side? Now, perimeter of a square park will be equal to 4 into side, which will be equal to 200 meters, isn't it? And yesterday I have said that if multiplication is there and to find the side, you have to take this for this side and this multiplication becomes division yesterday we have discussed this isn't it children so you will write side is equal to 200 meters divided by 4 length of the side or side is also fine okay now you have to do the division for 4 and 200 where 200 becomes your dividend and 4 becomes your divisor now first digit is 2 so 2 is less than 4. So you will take 2 digits which becomes 20. 2, 0, 20. And we have 20 in 4 table where 4, 5 are 20. Now 20 minus 20 will become 0. Isn't it? And here 1, 0 is left out. So this 0 I will place it here and make it 50. Because the other, dig the other digit is 0. Only 1, 0 you have. I will take that 0 and put it in the quotient. So, length of the side will be 50 meters. Okay, children. So, in this way, you need to solve children. There are two more. Let's solve them also. So, perimeter of a rectangle is 100 meters. And length is 20 meters. What is its breadth? Here, children, perimeter of a rectangle is given. Length is given. You need to find the breadth. Or sometimes, they give the perimeter of a rectangle and breadth. You need to find the length okay both are same okay length if given breadth you have to find out if breadth is given length is find out the procedure will be the same okay so perimeter of a rectangle is equal to length is equal to 20 meters perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 100 meters and breadth we need to find out yes now perimeter of a rectangle is for what is the formula 2 into length plus breadth where length is l and b is breadth okay length we already know 20 isn't it and here we when we are when you get uh, when you have length and breadth so first you need to do the addition then multiply with 2 but here children first what you have to do is you have to take this 2 and place it here first and you can substitute the length value that is 20 meters okay see here multiplication and 2 I am bringing to the other side. As it is multiplication is coming to the other side of the equal to it became divide, divide, division. Okay. Now 100 divided by 2. So 100 divided by 2 means 2 becomes your divisor and 100 becomes your dividend. Now 2, 5s are 10. 10 minus 10 will be 0 and 1, le 1 0 is left out here. That 0 I will place it here. Okay. Which becomes 50 and the division reminder is zero okay so length plus breadth is equal to 50 and length you got 20 isn't it so 20 plus breadth is equal to 50 now here you have plus you have to bring this 20 here yes and the, this plus when it comes to other side of the equal to it becomes minus isn't it yesterday we have learned addition becomes subtraction Subtraction becomes addition, multiplication becomes division and division becomes multiplication. That's what we have learned yesterday. So here you have addition. So it becomes subtraction. 50 minus 20 becomes 30. So breadth is equal to 30 meters. Okay, children. So in this way, you need to solve. Let's see the next one. The sum of perimeters of two identical squares is 80 centimeters. What is the length of the side of a each square? So there are two squares which are very similar. 
so if this if they are similar that means the length of the sides will be similar that means the perimeter will be similar isn't it and those similar perimeters are added then you got the answer as 80 centimeters now we need to find the length of the side of each square that is if you find one length of one side square then the, uh, the other square also will have the same length same side isn't it because they are identical so if you find once the other also is fine okay so some of the squares so some of the perimeters of two identical squares is 80 centimeters that is given and perimeter of a square each there are two isn't it children because there are two i'm dividing with two if there are three identical squares then i would have divided with three here two identical squares so i'm dividing with two and if you divide children, 2 is your dividend, 80 becomes your divide. sorry, 80 is your dividend, 2 is your divisor. Now your first digit is 8, 2 fours are 8 you have, isn't it? 8 minus 8 becomes 0 and here you are left with this 0, that 0 you can place it in the quotient, yes? So you will place that in the quotient and the perimeter of each square, that means perimeter of one square is 40 centimeters. And we know the formula of perimeter of a square which is 4 into side, isn't it? So 4 into side is equal to 40 centimeters. Yes, now here you have 4 multiplication, 4 and multiplication, 4 you have to bring it this side and this multiplication becomes dividend, isn't it? So side is equal to 40 divided by 4. Now dividend is 40 and divisor is 4. You need to do the division, okay? Now 4 ones are 4 4 minus 4 becomes 0 and the 0 in the dividend as there is only one digit which is 0 again then I will place it in the quotient then that becomes 10 okay so length of the side of a square that is side of a square a square is equal to 10 centimeters okay children so in this way you need to solve the problems children so these are the three sums what you have to write it in your classwork so please write it children and coming to your homework complete the volume book volume book 3 page number 15 s1 solving perimeter problems okay so in the next class we will learn the next topics that would be after formative exams okay so whatever model paper i am giving you for the formative exam fa3 Try to do the sums, practice the sums from your classwork, from your textbook, from your skill sheet so that it will be easy for you to do it in the question paper, in the exam. Okay, children? So, all the best for your exams, children. Bye.